Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're here. And if you're new, hi, my name is Anna. And today's video is a deep clean with me. And so I'm gonna deep clean my entire bathroom. You might get some tips and tricks. And I'm gonna show you how I clean my tile floors. And yeah, let's just get right into it. Okay, so this is how it looks currently because I was doing a short over here, a couple shorts. And so I've got my tripod and everything. This needs to go under the sink. I did buy a new shower curtain because this shower curtain, like the inside one, just gets, I don't know, I don't like the material. And so I'm gonna replace that. This is what my shower is looking like. So yeah, we're gonna take everything out and clean everything, the rug, the floor, restock. I despise cleaning the shower, so that's what I'm gonna do first. We're trashing this because I've tried to bleach this and it just doesn't work. So that's why I got a fabric um, shower curtain for the inside one. And I really need to invest in some hooks that have both sides, like, so you don't have to take off the outside one to put on the inside one. I have my little um, cleaning carrier. I absolutely love this. I'll link it below. It's actually a grill caddy that I use for a cleaning caddy. And it's a grill caddy because it has this paper towel holder, but I always use paper towels when cleaning. I also have this awesome, it's an electric, um, scrubber and so I love this because it rotates and it gets a deep clean. I will link this below as well. It has four different attachments and it can get smaller or longer. Um, I have it smaller right now but you can actually there's a whole other piece, an extender if you need to get hard to reach areas. And I learned this from Vanessa on TikTok. Dawn dish soap is the best shower cleaner of all time. So I use Dawn spray dish soap for my shower walls. is specifically meant for the walls so that's what I'm going to clean the shower walls with. Ah! I should not have gotten ready for date night before doing this. <laughs> yeah I'm talking to you and the camera. Why did I do my makeup and hair before I did this? There's also an attachment specific for corners, which I love because trying to get the corners with the other attachments kind of makes it splash. And so this is like, it's very, um, it's like a cone shape and it gets the corners perfectly. One thing I love about using the Dawn Power Wash is that it gets so sudsy. I feel like when I try to use any other bathroom cleaner, it just kind of, washes away if there's any little bit of water, but with the Dawn, it gets the grime and it also gets really sudsy. I don't have to keep applying it like, you know, over and over to feel like I have soap on the walls. You guys see how sudsy it gets? It gets super sudsy, super clean, and I just love using the Dawn. Oh! Whoops. Now my whole foot is soaked. <laughs> For the bottom of the shower, they have this attachment and they also have a smaller one that's kind of just the size of this middle here. I never find myself using that one, but I love this big one for the bottom of the tub. For some reason to me, when I put everything back, I feel like I just love organizing it by either like my stuff and my husband's stuff or hair products, body products. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna clean out anything that's like, I'm not using right now or um, just I don't want in the shower right now. And like some, I like to switch up my products a lot, so. <laughs> what I can tell you because this is a body product and I don't really want it down here but it's gonna have to go up down there for this to fit. This 
already feel so much better. In our last house, we had a fabric shower liner and I just love getting white because I can actually bleach them and that just makes my, me happy knowing that they're super, super clean. I keep my tanning supplies and stuff like some acne back spray in here in this cupboard um, so that it's right there when I get out of the shower, including like my lotion and everything. I'm also going to clear out this cupboard. If I had a vanity, I would be clearing that out too and just wiping it down. Um, but this is a small bathroom, this is our guest bathroom, um, so it's not very big and we don't, it's not hard to clean. So I'm just going to take my Mr. Clean Clean Freak in lavender scent. It's supposed to be um, like more natural, I think, and I'm going to spray out the cupboard. Our um, loofahs away and my exfoliating gloves I'm gonna put those on the list to buy at the store if I had been thinking of head I would have bought them already but I feel like it's just super good to change those out pretty often because they can collect bacteria and so yeah I threw those away and now I'm gonna clean the mirror and the sink Also gonna dust the top of this light fixture because stuff like this just gets dusty and we don't think about it when cleaning regularly all right let's talk about floors so you can use that tool that I used on a shower tile on your floor I just used the big round one and I put a drop of dish soap in um, a bucket of water and just go around and and hold it and it power scrubs for me. I have done that pretty recently. So I am just going to go with a wet cloth over everything. Just make sure everything's wiped down. I'm soaking these clips in vinegar water. I also might take a toothbrush, like an old one obviously, and scrub in here. And then yeah, these will be clean and ready to go back in the shower. Okay, we are done. And here is the result. I washed the bathroom rug. I put a clean hand towel out. Also don't mind the trim. This bathroom was completely renovated. And so we just haven't gotten to the trim yet. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you next time. Bye. Thank you.